I'm Artemis, and this is the Artemis News Network. Tonight, Trump decides, fuck it, I'm not hated enough, targets the entire population of Tumblr by banning transgender people from his military in his latest slip into insanity. UK man almost poisons himself by eating the seeds of cherries like a fucking idiot, claims it's not his fault because there wasn't a label on there. And the BBC almost loses its credibility as a news source when videos such as Dog Eats Cake on Wedding Couple's Big Day and Lapland Polar Bears Like Snow make the fucking headlines. But first we take you to furry news and the story of Bambi Saber over on Twitter. In recent weeks Bambi Saber had decided to sell her DHC fursuit to somebody else to make a bit of money. The suit was sold and shipped off to someone that she thought she knew. On my notes to Bambi Saber, this was going to be the start of some serious, heavy-grade bullshit. After accepting a payment of $3,200, Twitter user at Bambi Saber returned from BLFC, or, or some con, uh, to find that PayPal had authorised a $3,000 chargeback. After trying to organise an investigation and get the money back, it became apparent that this silly bitch right here had used a stolen credit card to buy the fursuit. The credit card company decided to investigate this matter, but shat the bed entirely by siding with the stupid cunt who stole the card in the first place. Don't despair, for once these kind of stories actually does have a happy ending. In the end, Twitter user at Bambi Saber was able to speak to the girl's parents, who uh, were very apologetic, cancelled the uh, whole transaction and sent the suit back. And a wave of schadenfreude is now currently washing over all of our cynical bastards who are picturing this petulant little shithead who got the suit, having it taken away and sent back to the cellar. And of course the almighty bitch slap her parents are likely giving her about now. And in entertainment news, uh, YouTube user... How the fuck do you say that? Vix N D W N Q. Uh, let's just call her Rika recently managed to surpass 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, making her the first ever furry orientated YouTube channel to do so and get that coveted play button. Many prominent members of the furry community came out in support of Rika, congratulating her on this amazing milestone. One YouTuber was quoted as saying, Seriously, who the fuck is that? I swear to God, I've literally never seen that channel in my life. Wait, that was me. That, that, that was me that said that. Sorry. Um, and in slightly less important news, uh, Hanzo managed to reach 3k subscribers, which I suppose for a watermelon toaster fox is pretty impressive. Guess it just goes to show that being the friend of every poppy fur out there has to pay off eventually. And now look at the weather forecast for the furry community for the next week. So as we can see, tomorrow morning a big shitstorm of outages will be flooding across fur affinity uh, as usual. It's speculated that a heavy rainstorm may ensue, uh, emanating from the frustrated tears of dragon dick hungry mer suitors who will likely flood safe for work social sites like Twitter with dick pics just in case they need to get one off. As you can see there's a heavy concentration of furry drama, uh, usually emanating from the Dutch Angel Dragon community, that will be spread across every social media platform available, though usually affecting most of the basic furs at the 12 to 14 age. Experts are expecting this to uh, dissipate as soon as people grow up and realise that they need to be responsible adults, uh, but they're unsure when exactly this is going to happen or if it's even possible. And finally, in local news, an advisory warning has been given to all fursuiters in the UK area thanks to the schools breaking up and unleashing the fucking children upon us for the next six weeks. Experts are warning of an increase of shitty children thinking you're just a massive punching bag and parents trying to dump them on you because they really can't be asked to entertain their pops to condoms. One high-ranking expert was quoted as saying, I recommend people stay inside and just subscribe to Artemis on YouTube because he's probably the best YouTuber out there right now. Shit, that was me again. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, that just about does it for all of us here at ANN. Um, fuck off until next time. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs>